could you describe if it exists any element of sadness to be moving on from Orlando? Part was just the people. Seeing over nine years, you're gonna meet other you know, great people, and uh, that was just the hardest for me. Just even fires for two. No good. Rebound. Kucherovic. Number 29. Obviously, it meant a lot to me. And uh, like I said, I came there as a kid. That doesn't mean. City Beautiful, Nick Vucevic playing in Orlando for the first time as a member of the Chicago Bulls ever since the trade that was completed back on March 25th. He told me before the game it'd be very emotional, and uh, honestly, he's trying to get through this game. This city, this town, this fan base meant so much to Nick Vucevic, and that was great to see him get a nice ovation here before the game. As we take a peek at our Toyota trend, in nine years with the Orlando Magic, he's accomplished so much. First in field goals made, third in scoring and blocks. He's second in rebound, and he's fourth in games played. He's top 10 in almost 10 different categories for the Orlando Magic. And how about this? Prior to tonight's game, he sent me a message directly to all of you Magic fans that meant so much to him during his time here. Hey, Magic fans. Just want to thank you for all your support during my time in Orlando. You guys made this place a very special place for me. I'm looking forward to playing in front of you guys again tonight. Uh, should be an exciting game for sure. And uh, thank you again for all your support. Uh, he's a class act. He's one of the greatest players and people that we've ever had put on that jersey. Enjoy your special night. It'll be emotional for sure as the city and fans continue to show their support for Nick Vucevic. David, JT, a lot of fun having Nick Vucevic back in the building. Uh, he is a great one, both on the court and off the court, Dante, as we uh, we all know, and Magic fans understand that as well. Uh, he's in a, a good spot, Jeff, in oh, Chicago yeah. with a talented young basketball club and a chance to do some damage in the Eastern Conference this year. You look at it, he's a two-time All-Star. You've got Zach Levine, an All-Star last year, DeMar DeRozan, a four-time All-Star. Three All-Star caliber players in that starting lineup for the Chicago Bull. That's a lot of talent up over there. It really is. And you throw in Lonzo Ball, who is a former second pick in the draft. High expectations for him. They get up and go. Yep. 